You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions. See if your dogs are still barking.
All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. How about this one? Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore.
You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Can do. Another satisfied customer. Take it easy now. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Put them in sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways.
hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Everything all right? Until next time. like you done. I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thank you. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. 
I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking.
Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it...